Sit up straight, sit up straight. Let's take another deep breath now. <sighs> Hallelujah, this is the day that the Most High has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Keep that sage lit, lit, lit. Get the white candles lit and cleanse the room, cleanse the area, cleanse the scene. We give all the praise to the Most High, beloved ancestors. Thank you for being here on the earth and guiding us to the light. The light of his son, Yahusha HaMashiach, hallelujah, who died for our sins. Thank you, Yahusha, all our gratitude to you. You are the most beautiful. You are a true superhero. Thank you for being in the bloodline of other superheroes like King Dawid, Moses, Moshe, uh, Noah, Noah, our great-grandfathers and forefathers, hallelujah. Grandma Kua, we call Eve, hallelujah. We all make mistakes and learn from our mistakes and never make them again that was one of the greatest things about king dawi hallelujah so those are the real superheroes um as we live in life today we need to always remember that and uh you know reach for the stars you know, the stars are the children of yashar rao as most high said he would bring his children and put children as numerous as the stars in the heavens and the shamaim you know that there the earth is flat and we are on flat ground which is the dry land called earth if you go back to your first book of genesis that was written it says it right there and above us is water so when you see that bright beautiful blue sky that is water and there's water underneath the earth and it's just a beautiful creation that we've been misguided to believe is something else but nonetheless i don't want to <laughs> give you too much information this promoter god is coming at you two minutes here we're gonna jump right into Tehillim Psalms 10 yes we are so get your mind right get your scriptures out or just relax have some tea have some coffee have some wine and relax and sit in a nice meditative cool place where you can just relax and let your body and your flesh breathe separated and divided from your spirit and then separate your spirit from your mind hallelujah give it all a break and rest Finally, a place of peace to rest here with with Primordial Goddess. Hallelujah. If you're arriving here, it's divine timing and we praise the Most High for that. Hallelujah. Everything is orchestrated by His script because this is His scripture. Hallelujah. All the praise of the Most High as we step into Tehillim 10, Psalms 10, delivered by the great King Dawid. Call him King David. Hallelujah. Why do you stand afar off, O Yahweh, hiding in times of distress? In arrogance, the wicked hotly pursues the poor. They are caught by the schemes which they devised. For the wicked boasted of his cravings, and the greedy one cursed and despised Yahweh. In the pride of his face, The wicked does not seek. In all his thoughts, there is no Elohim. His ways are always prosperous. Your right rulings are on high, out of his sight. He snorts at all his adversaries. He has said in his heart, I shall not be moved. From generation to generation, never be an evil His mouth is filled with cursing and deceit and oppression. Under his tongue is trouble and wickedness. He sits in the hiding places of the villages. In the secret places, he murders the innocent. His eyes are on the lookout for the helpless. He lies in wait in a secret place as a lion in his den. He lies in wait to catch the poor. He catches the poor, drawing him into his net, and he crouches. He lies low, and the helpless fall under his strength. He has said in his heart, El has forgotten. He has hidden his face, he shall never see. 
Arise, O Yahweh, O El. Lift up your hand. Do not forget the lowly ones. Why do the wicked scorn Elohim? He has said in his heart, It is not required. You have seen it. You observe trouble and grief. To repay with your hand, the poor commits himself to you. You are the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked and the evil one. Search out his wickedness that would not be found out. Yahweh is sovereign forever and ever. The Gentiles shall perish from his land. Yahweh, you have heard the desire of the lowly ones. You prepare their heart. You incline your ear to defend the fatherless and the downtrodden so that man who is of the earth no longer oppresses. Hallelujah. 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 What a powerful scripture. There's so much in there. There's so much in there. Wow. Hallelujah. All the praise to the Most High. Yahweh. All the gratitude to King David for writing these. King David. Hallelujah. King David was spiritual. He was not religious, just like we were born to be. Um, we're going to come back to the factors that give division and deciphering between religion and spirituality. Again, this is a spiritual channel. It is not a religious channel. Um, I just find that religion blocks you off from things that could be cataclysmically helpful to one's lifelong eternity of happiness. So it also separates you from people. And um, people can control the way that they looked based off the orbiting of the sun and where they were born. So for that, let alone, we are all spirit first. Judge people by spirit, not by flesh. And that's a whole other thing. I want to stay focused on the actual script of Psalms 10. There's so many powerful things here. So many contrasts of light and dark here. So many things that are relative to what's happening on the earth now as it was then. We're very grateful for King Dawid for bringing this to our attention as a spirit now. Hallelujah. Who has his own star in the sky. King Dawid, the rising star. <laughs> Hallelujah. All the praise to the Most High Yahweh Leheka for this time to be here with you. This is Promoto God is coming at you. Thank you for being here. Hopefully these scriptures are healing to you and helpful. We pay no attention to the low vibrations and wickedness that are happening on the earth. We just continue to stay focused on the Most High, light, life, ascension, self-care, self-love, beauty, justice, and righteousness. And we all have our challenges. There's things we're here to do to clear up and exceed past and overcome. So let this be a reminder to you that this is from one of the greatest heroes that ever walked the earth. King David. King Dawid. King David. And his spirit is still here. So lay into that frequency. Step into the light. Overcome. Work. Do your shadow work. Work on yourself. Practice self-love. Practice self-care. Self-nurturing. Eat better. Pray to the Most High. You're spiritual first. And I say these things to myself as well. So we're all a team of light. And there is a team of darkness. So be aware of that. And stay far away from workers of wickedness workers of lies and deception their place is known where they're headed and the light won't be headed there with them they're going in two separate directions hallelujah for you will not know light without darkness so you must do your shadow work you must work on yourselves and you can do it you must do it you must ascend 
and the Most High and His Son, Yahushua Mashiach, and divine energy is always there. It's a whole nother conversation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hmm. Hallelujah. There's a community. This line here is to defend the fatherless and the downtrodden. There's a plethora of children here that are fatherless at the hour. And then there's the Most High that's here as their father. So if you can tell a child, you single mothers out there, the Most High is their father. And bring them to the scripture, specifically Psalms 10, Tehillim 10. Verse 18, it can cut off some of the residue and some of the dismay that can grow inside of a child when it's lackluster that they do not have their father present and they can heal and not be like the last generation of the fatherless who wasn't able to have this scripture read to them because you lifted a hand of kindness and compassion. And you wanted to see better for your child or for that child. It doesn't have to specifically be your child. Children need our help. And we need each other's help as mature, stable, grounded, responsible adults. So let that be an antidote of an olive tree branch to my listeners that this is bigger than just you and I the light is everlasting just like the stars, sun and the moon (laughs) hallelujah my gratitude to the most high thank you listeners for being here we're at 12 minutes just like to mention the time Um, because divine timing is everything It's definitely special moments when those are patient enough to wait for divine timing. And patience makes perfect. And what's more perfect than divine timing? Divine timing of the things, the essentials that you need present appear. Or gifts from the most high. Blessings. Anything wonderful and gifted is from the most high that's of the light hallelujah and things that come from the light are everlasting they last forever and this is just a beautiful light code rolling off my tongue that the most high made my lips these are his lips these are his words this is his ruach and i'm just grateful to be here to read these stories to you all and speak very direct (laughs) Hallelujah. All the praise to Yahushua HaMashiach, our King of Light, has significantly uh, reminded us of many things, though he's mentioned so much in the books of Matayahu, Matthew, and Mark, and Lucas. He's really a replica of all light that is mentioned throughout all of the scriptures, including starting with the sun and the moon and the word itself. Hallelujah. So... I know everybody has challenges right now, but we must stay focused on the light, and I'm talking to myself as well. All these low vibrations and demons and all this stuff is irrelevant. You have power over wickedness, and you always will with light and unconditional love. Whoever told you love didn't matter and light didn't matter is a liar, and you will see their demise with your own eyes. That is Psalms 91 you will see the reward of the wicked. Um, so I'm going to close this out. This is Psalms 10 to Helene. Thank you for being here. Listeners, may you enjoy healing and ascending, self-care, self-love, gratitude, humbleness, meekness. Nothing belongs to us. Everything belongs to the Most High. And uh, it's a beautiful thing when you know That alignment is super divine. And I thank you for being here. Hallelujah. All the praise of the most high. This promoter God is coming at you. Make sure to show some support to my girl, Kimberly Thompson, at IamKimberlyThompson.com. I bid you adieu and say shalom.